Well, in this week's Carrie's Corner, Rich Carey explains that even though there are a lot of opinions out there, it's best to decide something for yourself, even when it comes to sports movies. Will Rogers, American humorist, once said, All I know is what I read in the newspapers. No TV in Will's day. I can say pretty much the same thing, for I watch very little TV. But I regularly read as many newspapers as I can, to take in as many views as I can. Recently, I read three different film reviews on the movie When the Game Stands Tall. The three different grades given by the three critics bear out the observation of another famous American humorist, Mark Twain, when he said, that's what makes horse racing a difference of opinion. Ten years ago, a high school football team in Concord, California, lost a game. Not very newsworthy, huh? On the contrary, for the De La Salle Spartans had gone 12 years without a defeat and won a world record 151 games in a row. Critics in two local papers wrote negatively about the film based on this amazing true story. One called the movie's material a collection of cliche-ridden pap absent of any grit. He gave it a rating of C+. Another critic said that nothing really grabbed her or inspired her. She gave a grade of B-. However, a recent four-star review of When the Game Stands Tall I came across in a national newspaper. In it, the critic says that James Caviezel does a fantastic job of playing the roles of Bob Laudusur, a coach, a husband, a father, and a man searching for God's guidance. The reviewer recommends this family-friendly film to everyone. He said that the nail-biting tension of the must-win game reminded him of movies like Rocky, The Karate Kid, and Hoosiers. So how bad or good is it really? For those of you who like to judge for yourselves, you can do just that. For the film is showing now in many theaters in the area. Until next week, this is Rich Carey reminding you that at Carey's Corner, you always have someone in your corner.